This is our third video in our series on project management. In the first video, we talked about a project that had eight activities, A through H. And we decided that the critical path of the project was A, C, E, G, and H, with a time, a normal time, of 15 days. What this video is about is crashing, crashing projects. That just means reducing the amount of time to, for a project to take. For example, the normal time on this project was 15, but let's say that we'd like to get it down to 12 days instead. So we need to crash by a total of three days on that critical path. <clears throat> this is a common occurrence if for some reason you need to complete your project faster than the normal time. Well, how do you speed up some activities? Well, the way to do it is to throw resources at it. Perhaps hire some workers to work at night, or uh, bring in more equipment, or hire more workers in general. Do whatever it takes, add resources to it, which of course costs money, and reduce the project time. So let's say we've got information about each activity. That the normal time that we had before are listed here. And let's say it's possible to crash down to one day on activity A. So we can crash it from two down to one day. Likewise on activity B we can crash it from three days down to one day. Activity C we can crash from 2 to 1, D 4 to 3, 4 to 2, and so on. <clears throat> then, let's say that we have this data about the normal cost of these activities. The normal cost is associated with the normal time. So activity A normally costs $22,000 to do it in two days. But, if you want to crash it down to one day, it costs an extra thousand dollars. It'll cost twenty-three thousand. So that crash cost per day is an extra thousand dollars because it's the difference between the crash cost and the normal cost divided by the normal time minus the uh, crash time. So notice here on activity B, normally it takes three days, but we can crash to one, and that extra two days costs four thousand dollars. So the crash cost per day is two thousand because we get two days for four thousand dollars total cost per day is two thousand dollars. Notice down here activity F we can take it from three down to two and the crash cost is thirty point five K normal cost is thirty K so that, that extra crash cost per day cost us only five hundred dollars. Okay, so now we have to decide which activity should we crash to get this from 15 days normally down to 12. <clears throat> one option would be to crash activity A by one. That's the cheapest on the critical path. Even though F is cheaper, remember that F is not on the critical path, so it doesn't help us to crash that. So we want to look at A, C, E, G, or H and decide which ones are cheapest. Well, notice A is, is cheap. Uh, at a thousand C is cheap, but let's crash A by one. So that would get us from 15 down to 14 at a cost of a thousand. But we want to get it down to 12, so let's crash G by two, and that's 2,000 per day. We can crash G by three, but let's crash it by two. We couldn't crash A anymore, that was done. Uh, so that's an extra four thousand dollars, but that will get us down from fifteen to twelve for an additional cost of five thousand. Well, why did I say G instead of uh, C? C is also on the critical path. Well, the reason is this. Recall previously that we had enumerated all the paths, A, C, F, H, A, C, E, G, H, and B, D, G, H. That was in video one, part one. <clears throat> so we only want to crash the critical path. So in the first step I said let's crash A, and let's cross that out. That'll get us from 15 down to 14 on the critical path. That'll also take this path from 9 down to 8. Well, that doesn't help us much. But notice at this point, when we're at 14, B, D, G, and H, this second pass is also at 14. That means that we've got two 
critical paths. So now we have to crash in both. So if we just crash C, that would get this from 14 to 13, but it doesn't crash this path. That stays at 14. So we have to think, well, how can we get them both down at this point? Well, notice that activity G is on both paths. So if we crash activity G twice at an extra cost of $4,000, that'll take us from 14 down to 12. It'll have no impact on this path. It doesn't matter. That stays at 8. So the result is that it's 12, 12, and 8 on the three paths. This is an alternate optima problem, meaning that there are more than one ways to reach an optimal solution. One possible solution would be, well, let's crash A by 1 at 1,000 like we did to get from 15 to 14. But then let's crash C and D by 1. The cost of crashing each one of those is 1,000. So crash C and D by 1, that would get it down to 2,000. Uh, and that would bring us from 14 to 13 on both paths. And then we could crash G by 1 as well. That's on both paths at a total cost of 5,000. I believe there, there's no cheaper way uh, to get this from 15 down to 12. But there are alternate optimal solutions. There may be others besides this as well. So this is a common problem. Again, what we're trying to do is reduce the time of the total uh, time of, of completing the project, but do it at a minimum total extra cost. We want to minimize this total cost here.